friends uh, in this session we are going to talk about ip version 6 routing information protocol how we need to configure routing information protocol in ip version 6 that we are going to going to configure here in this picture so uh, in ip version 6 suppose that if you are configuring ip version if you are configuring routing information protocol in ip version 4 so there is a very simple method and the simple configuration what are the configuration that i am going to write here so it's very simple configuration router rip after that version there is a two version version one is a class pool and second is a classless whatever version you can use after that you will have to address only the directly connected networks but uh, whenever you are doing configuration in ip version 6 that is a little bit different okay so because while doing this compression you will have to advertise in global compression mode but whenever you are doing ip version 6 always remember you will have to advertise you will have to configure those routing in function protocol on interface you have to you have to configure on interface because as you can see here here is a two interface on r1 and r2 there is a two interface so what are those interface so you can see here first interface is on r1 is ethernet 0 slash 0 and the another one is a loopback loopback also interface okay on router 2 there is a one interface and this one is a second interface okay so that we are going to configure here so let's get started very easy configuration so what are the configuration what we need to focus and how we need to perform this practical that i'm going to tell you so first of all here is my R1 and this is my R2 console. So first of all, I will check whether it is configuration is done or not. So I can see till now I did not provide it. I didn't configure any kind of IP address here on this interface as well as I will check on IP version show IP version 6 interface brief. You can see here there is no configuration. So first of all, let me configure interface IP address. After that, we will talk about how to configure a rip routing information protocol in IP version 6 is called as a ripping interface ethernet 0 slash 0 128 no shutdown not required but if you are giving that's a good practice i'm now i'm configuring second router interface ethernet 0 slash 0 ipv6 address so here is 2000 colon 10 colon 10 colon 10 colon colon 2 slash 64 that's it no shutdown interface look back 0 ip address so DC 00 10 colon 10 colon 10 colon colon 1 slash 128 what happened oh see I did mistake here I put uh, I wrote here IP address it should be IPv6 because we are configuring IPv6 suppose that if you are doing any mistake so automatically you will get this kind of error so uh, see here they are mentioning invalid output input so you will have to correct your mistake okay so till now i have configured basic ip addressing on router 1 and router 2 router 1 there is a two interface ethernet 0 slash 0 and loopback 0 same as on our router 2 ethernet 0 slash 0 and ethernet uh, sorry loopback 0 i have configured both of the interface now we need to configure routing information protocol is called as ripping in ipv6 so it's very simple method so first of all before configuration always remember you will have to you will have to allow ip version 6 unicast routing this command is very important so this is the beauty of uh, cisco suppose that if you are putting question mark so we'll 
you will get to know what are the command line and what are the description so these are the description suppose that if you are using dscp so what is dscp so we'll give that little bit description so now you can see here unicast routing unicast routing enable unicast routing because whenever you are doing the ip agencies it should be enabled on both router i configured on first router now i am going to configure on second router so both side ip version 6 unicast routing is enabling enabled now we are going to configure ip version 6 on both of the router ip version 6 we have to configure on interface okay so that we need to understand see suppose that if you are configuring ip version 4 so how we need to configure if you are going to the global configuration mode router reef letter you just put the version 2 whatever after that network you will have to advertise like this okay but so let me remove this command router reef okay but now in ip version 6 it's little bit different so how we need to configure okay so first of all interface ethernet 0 slash 0 okay now you can see here ipv6 okay suppose that if you put the question mark you will get to know what are the next command okay if you are not having idea otherwise so now we are using the rip protocol okay so that's why i am using ip version 6 rip after that if you are putting question marks so they are asking about the identification name so you can drop any name okay but it should be same on second router suppose that if i am putting here ccna on second router if i am putting ccnp so they will not communicate with each other just because of different name so it should be identical so i am dropping any name here so i am putting ccna oh sorry after after that we have to put enable same thing i will have to configure on router 2 but before router 2 i will have to configure the same thing on my loopback interface because i have two interface one is a physical interface ethernet 0 slash 0 and another one is loopback which i have configured same command ip version 6 rip ccna enable that's it okay same thing i will have to configure on another router that is router 2 ipv6 reap ccna enable same thing i will have to configure on loopback interface loopback 0 same command that's it okay now we'll check show ipv6 route here show ipv6 route now you can see here you are getting one route as you can see here there is one route which mentioned by r and r stand for rip as you can see here okay here is a rip, rip that is a code okay so this is how you need to configure routing in function protocol ripping in ip version 6 now the final verification you will have to check whether it is reachable or not so from first router i am going to ping second router's loopback ip address so second router's loopback ip address so this is my second router loopback ip address simply i am doing copy and pasting so it is reachable even same thing I will do from second router to first router. So my first router loopback IP address is this one. I am going to ping from my second router. Oh sorry. It is reachable means my routing in function protocol ripping. It is configured properly because both router are sharing their routing in function protocol routes as well as they are able to reach to each other. So thank you so much 